Let's switch back to our presentation. And you see that we already did some work with this example. And just a highlight of what we already discussed, that the expression ampersand attached to an object name uh, returns address of that object. In C++, taking address of a variable is so common that a separate punctuation syn uh, syntax character um, was dedicated to this uh, operation. So we discussed about uh, storing uh, ad, uh, storing uh, obtained addresses in a special type of variable, which is a pointer variable, and this is what we have already shown in our uh, sample. Just a few words about how would you pronounce uh, a pointer in plain English. Uh, the rule of thumb is that you begin with a variable name and you uh, work towards uh, the beginning of the declaration uh, of a pointer. So you say that uh, pointer uh, is a pointer to, which is represented by this asterisk, an integer. Clearly, pointer is also a variable. And uh, you may be wondering why this would be useful and how important it is to be able to obtain the address of uh, some variable and store it in a pointer. Let me give you another quick demonstration. I return back to my sample code. And uh, let me add a function named square. The square takes an integer pointer to an integer variable. I call it pi, pointer to an integer. And the way I'm going to use this function is to simply call it like this. So the intention is to uh, compute a square of a value. And of course, because uh, this function is expecting a, uh, a pointer type parameter, uh, I will have to use an address of x so that this type of the parameter that I'm going to pass to my square function has to agree with uh, the expression type that I'm using to initialize this pointer when the function call is made. And inside this uh, function right here, I'm going to write a statement like this. So you see that this entire uh, function square looks a little bit unusual. It makes so much use of this asterisk uh, syntax uh, that it's a little confusing. So let's take it apart. The first use of an asterisk here is as a type modifier. Just write a comment here is that um, this asterisk right here is a type modifier and it modifies the type of this input parameter named pi pointer to an integer to be a pointer to an integer and of course uh, we're using address of an integer to initialize it which is making sense when we use an asterisk inside parentheses in front of pi what it does um, first of all it's called pointer let me just write this to clarify it's called pointer the reference operator so what does it do well let's illustrate the fact that we have a local variable declared in function main 
and this variable of course is located somewhere in computer memory so we have a value 5 uh, stored somewhere in computer memory and it's an integer so this uh, pointer will have an address of this variable and when we apply pointer dereference operator to this existing pointer it converts itself to to this integer itself so this becomes this integer in computer memory notice that we apply this pointer dereference three times and each time uh, that we do it uh, this expression refers to our variable x So this is roughly equivalent to saying x equals x multiplied by x. So you can see that every time we dereference a pointer, it becomes the actual object to which it points to. So this and this is the same. Of course, variable x does not exist in the scope. Only the pointer exists. But I'm just telling you that this is exactly what this uh, statement does by using pointer dereference operator. As if x was available in the scope inside function square, it could have been just multiplication of x by itself and updating its own location by storing the result. So, of course, furthermore, we can write it like this, that each time on the uh, right-hand side of uh, assignment x is evaluated, it becomes 5 uh, times 5, and this is now 25, so x eventually becomes 25. And I'm just going to keep this as a comment in this uh, demonstration. second name for pointer dereference uh, operator is actually indirection operator so this uh, operator asterisk uh, is called pointer dereference and indirection has two names and so there you can see that we have an example of asterisk being used three times and it is used first as a type modifier uh, to make a PI proper type, then we use a pointer dereference and we also have a plain vanilla multiplication. Uh, by the way, how does compiler know that this is a multiplication? Because when these two uh, sub-expressions are evaluated, they simply evaluate to an integer. And of course, when we have two integers and an asterisk between them, compiler just simply understands that this is a multiplication of two integers.